Alright guys, we are back in business. And we're back into World 4. Or Course 4. I don't really care, I call them by many names. Oh crap. Hold on, I gotta get back to the top again. Now it's very cool about this game and this level. Uh seriously, I'm saying cool way too much. I'm almost it's almost as though I'm trying to get a pun. What you wanna do is stand there and you teleport all the way back to the beginning of the level. So it, that's a very cool feature. And now you gotta fall you gotta outspeed this giant ball of snow and you see that little pile of snow down there? Well you gotta go to oh no 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 no. No 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 no. No <laughs> I had got ahead of me. <laughs> Why? Man, I'm not gonna cut anything out because that was just wrong. I got all the way through. I almost got to the snowman. Because you gotta get in front of that thing. Stay in front of it so that it'll follow you. You can't take any shortcuts like last time. Crap, it's doing it again. I'll exit the court course because I know I wouldn't make it. And if you press exit the course on the on that pause screen, then you're allowed to go all the way back to the beginning of the castle. Now let me see if I can actually do this. Without getting caught by the mountain. Alright, now that we got that. What you need to do is... Stand right in front of the snowman. You can get hit. Don't have to get hit, but I do it anyway, just because that's the way I do it. In front of the snowman, he'll talk to you. And you get a star. Hooray. One easy star. Okay, ignoring my last comment. No, that is not an easy star. That is definitely one of the freaking... Most freaking annoying. Not the most, but one of... Now, oh crap, no, you needed that enemy, you could stomp on it and then for some reason you would fly like a helicopter. Wow, I've never done that before. You fall too far down to the snow, you do that, but anyway, you jump on a thing, you do a helicopter and you can just float down to where I'm. you need to go. Otherwise you need to activate the cannon. Well, I guess you could try and long jump over to there. I like doing the ground pound thing because it stops your jumping, which means if you jump too far, then you would fall off and die, so you might as well. You know what? I'm going to try, try and long jump. Yeah. Okay. This game doesn't want me to cheat, so I'm just gonna fall down like we did with the the mother of the penguin. Get into the cannon. What you have to do is aim a little bit above the tree, shoot for it, and hope for the best. Thankfully, I did hope for the best, so I got it. 
you want to ignore these things and now you gotta do a long jump the sign tells you how to do the long jump so yes it's required and now you gotta do the wall kicks which is just pressing A right off uh, camera won't let me there we go Oh man and let me see if I can do this mm. let me just use the heart to heal Jeez, I'm wasting so much time I'm probably gonna cut off for those of you who won't know I'm gonna cut off a de death that just showed me long jumping right off the side of the mountain and I know there are some people that can long that can wall jump off that off the wall while I was, while I was wall jumping and then go wall jump off the icicles yeah you can tell this is not a fun mission and then wall jump off the icicles that <laughs> okay there just forget anything I say before that In two minutes and for those of you who got mad at me for keeping most of the deaths most of the failures when I was doing the wall jumps just well one of two things line up it's no big deal and I'm sorry okay it's just I didn't really know how much to cut out because there was some talking in between it would sound weird not the talking you need to do for the next level is get above the boo so it doesn't see you ground pound it and you're in world 5 already never even had to fight Bowser oh I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to do this mission what you have to do is search through all of these rooms looking for boos enemies that are five coins apiece and you have to jump over them to kill them otherwise they'll just turn invisible and that line of dialogue will come up every time and that's the second of like I'm not sure how many but I'm telling you I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to do this quick enough I guess I could barely and that's all the booze you can get there 
and I think the last two are the last two are right outside. What to do is go around the gigantic house, which is not really that big after you see the scariest. Dang, I'm usually gonna have to kill both of these at once. Oh, I did. And after you kill the last one, you'll you hear something say, "Boom! I'm King of the Boos. Come meet me." Blah blah blah. And you have to do this mission first. There's no way to avoid it. And then you meet this guy in here. What you have to do is. Same as regular booze. And you gotta do it quick. And you just hit him three times, you get smaller every time. After you beat him, the staircase will go up. And there we go. Oh, 